Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Ola here from Income Ola and today I'm going to show you how to master your YouTube studio. YouTube Creator Studio is the place where you control and manage your YouTube channel. It contains everything you need in one place. If you want a quick tour in YouTube Creator Studio, as well as the best tutorial on how to get the best out of it, you have come to the right video, so keep watching. So because you have come to this video, I assume you already created your YouTube account. If you haven't, it's pretty easy. Just go to youtube.com and click on sign in at the top right. Then click on create account and choose for myself or to manage my business. Then choose a name for your channel, something memorable. And now when you have a YouTube account, you can create YouTube channels and manage them in YouTube Studio. So let's start by going to YouTube Studio. This is my YouTube homepage. Now you have your profile picture here on the right top corner. Just click on that. And from here you can do different things. You can go to your channel, but don't be mistaken. This is not YouTube Studio. This is how other viewers see in your channel. Now you can also purchase and memberships. The third option is YouTube Studio. Then you can switch account if you have different accounts. You can sign out. You can change your theme or appearance. Now I'm using dark as you can see. If you click on this arrow, you can use device theme, which is right now light or light theme, which is the same. I'm using dark theme because I think it suits my eyes and it's nice and I love the colors inside dark theme. Then you have language you can change, then your location, and you have other settings, which I'm not going to go inside this right now. You also have your data in YouTube and other features that we're not going to go inside right now. All we're interested in is YouTube Studio. So let's click on that. So right now we inside our dashboard. If you look on the left side, you will see icons. And this is your main navigation menu. Right now we inside our dashboard. Our dashboard has everything we need to manage our channels. Channel dashboard contains latest video performance on the left. Then on the right you have news from YouTube. And you have channel analytics in the middle. Here you'll see your current subscribers and summary of your channel in the last 28 days. Then if you scroll down, you also on the right have ideas for you also from YouTube and some videos and blog posts. On the left, you will see your published videos, your latest comments. You also see your latest posts if you already have thousand subscribers and you have community tab open. And on the right here in the middle, you will see your recent subscribers. And this is not very accurate, so don't judge the here last 90 days. I have many other subscribers join me and I don't see them here. If you look here inside of your dashboard, you also have create. And if you click on that, you can choose upload videos, go live and create a post if you have more than 1000 subscribers. And also you have here create these three icons. The left one is create upload videos, go live, and the right one is create a post. So it's basically the same, but inside these little icons. Now let's go to our second menu from the left, the content. And here you will find your videos, your lives, and your posts. Here you will see three tabs, the uploads, live, and posts. And under the uploads, you will see all the videos you've been published on your on this channel. So if you have too many videos, you have this filter that will help you to find the right video. If you click on that, you can choose to filter the videos by age restriction, copyright claims, description made for kids or not, title, views and vis visibility, public or unlisted or private. If you go to your live tab, you will see all the live streams that you published. I still haven't go live on this channel. And the right tab will be your posts, all the posts that you posted for your community tab. And also you will see the type, if it's video, if it's poll, if it's image. So you can do different actions, content menu. If you hover over, you will see that you have this pencil. The pencil means you go to your details of your video. Analytics will take you to the analytics of this specific video. You have comments, you can watch the video on YouTube. And those three little dots, if you click on that, 
and it's a shortcut to edit title and description, get shareable link to share it on other social media or send it to a friend. You can promote it, which means you have to pay for it. You can download the video and you can delete it forever. Now, if we go to details, you will see all the details of your video. First, you'll see the thumbnail and the link here. You can copy the link by clicking here and share it wherever you want. Here is the video title and description. And if you scroll down, here you'll see visibility if it's public, private, unlisted, and you can change it, of course. You will see subtitles that you can add, edit. You see end screens, which are little elements in the end of your video that you can add. Cards are those little pop-ups that you see on the video. If you mention something and you want to add a little card, you do it from here. On the left, you will see your thumbnail. You can choose another thumbnail here or just leave it as it is. These three dots, if you click on that, you can change the thumbnail or download it. If you scroll a little bit more, you will see the playlist that you edit your this video to. And if you click on this arrow, you will see that you can add or change your playlist. You can also add new playlist from here. Let's scroll a little bit more and we'll see that you can change here. Yes, it's made for kids or not. All of my channels not made for kids. So this is by default. I always leave it on and I'll show you how to do that by default. Then you have uh, the option to mark your video as paid promotion, paid promoted. And here you have the tags, which are slowly, slowly losing their quality. And if you scroll a bit more down, those are more extras from VidIQ and TubeBuddy. But here you'll see language and caption certifications. And those I usually don't touch. It's English, United States, video language and stuff. I usually don't touch those. Then you have standard YouTube license. You allow embedding. Also, you have short samplings. This is something new that people allowed to sample this content. Right now, people allowed to take parts of my audio and use it in their videos. And um, I said, why not? So I allow it. Also, we have category. You can change it here. Mine is educational. And that's basically it here. You also can change your uh, comment visibility and how your videos are sorted. From here, you can also change this option. Show how many viewers likes and dislike this video. Only for this video, you can hide your likes and dislikes if you want. So when you're done editing here, just don't forget to save it. So that was video details. When done, click on this channel content arrow on the left. The next on the list is playlist. Click on that. And here you have all the playlists you created. I always make many playlists because I want to make sure people can watch similar videos in one playlist. It's convenient. It's nice. They can just auto play it. Also playlists can be a great opportunity to promote your channel by keywords. And those keywords you should include in the playlist name and playlist description. So let me just go to one of my playlists. Let's say this one, click on this pencil. And here you can change the name of the playlist on this clicking on this pencil. You also can shuffle play it and you can share the playlist. And if you click on these three dots, you can add videos to playlist, collaborate, playlist settings, delete playlist. Here is the playlist description. This is also a great opportunity to add some keywords that can promote this playlist. When you hover over on each video, on the left, you can drag and reorder the videos. On the right side, on these three dots, you can click and also have many actions here. Now let's go back. So let's go to my analytics. This is very important tab. And here you have many features. I'll try to make it as short as I can. So here are my analytics and Prepare to spend a lot of time in this tab. Here you have a few tabs too. You have overview, which is general, general overview. You have reach, engagement, and audience. So in overview tab, you see this little graph that's showing you if your channel is going up or it's basically sinking. Those are views. You can click on watch time to see how you're doing with watch time. 
you also can click on subscribers and see how it's going with your subscribers and youtube just lately updated this dark theme for analytics and i'm so excited <laughs> it's so cute so on the right side you have real time analytics what's going on in the last 48 hours so as you can see i have subscribers here also on the right you will see your top videos and if you click on see more you will see all your videos people watched in the last 48 hours those are the charts and here you will see the video and also how many views you had in the last 60 minutes to leave this tab click on the x and we're back to my analytics now on the right side if you scroll down you'll see your latest video performance and on the left you will see your top performing videos and their analytics too if you click see more this is very important chart that not many people open but this is this can really be a game changer for your how you view your analytics here where's the magic happen you can view your analytics by traffic source if you click on traffic source you will see what traffic source brings you the most of views so this blue line is my youtube search the green line is browse features which means home page and subscription tabs and also when you scroll down you'll see exactly how many views watch time average view duration if you click on geography you know what it means you'll see from where people are actually watching your videos my blue line is united states thank you all americans watching my videos i actually married to american from louisiana but yeah thank you guys and if you scroll down you also will see here exactly the views watch time and average view duration and the rest is self-explanatory viewers a gender date subscription status and other things if you click on the video you will see this chart by videos what is your most viewed video what is the least one so this blue line is my top performing video how to change channel color on mobile you also can switch here line chart you would switch it to bar chart if it's more comfortable for you to see that another thing you can change in here is the date range right now it shows 28 days if you click on this you can choose what date range is gonna show you last 20 days last 90 days the whole year lifetime also by years by month and custom click on the x in any part of your analytics you can switch the dates here you also can click on advanced mode and you'll see more customizable charts now if you go to reach here you will see how you get to your viewers basically so impressions is how many times your viewer saw your video somehow it doesn't matter if he clicked on it or not he just saw it somewhere um, impressions click through rate is how many times your viewer saw your video and clicked on it and this number is a percentage of the impressions let's say you had 100 impressions and the viewer clicked on two this number will be two percent then you have views and unique viewers and youtube give priority to your returning subscribers watching your own videos so make sure your videos are relevant to your audience and then your subscribers will watch more of your videos youtube will promote your channel more so here you see the chart of what i explained to you right now you have the impressions you have I have 8.6% from this number people actually clicked on my videos and this is the number of views I got from those impressions then my average view duration is 1 minute 46 seconds which is very low and watch time from those impressions from those uh, average view duration is 96 hours on the left you will see traffic source types this is very important data to look at you want to know where your audience coming from so youtube search is my top traffic source then i have browse features and suggested videos those three are very very important to conquer and i have video about that you can watch it here in the card and if you click on see more you will see more data about where your viewers coming from
Here are external sources. Some of my traffic coming from Google search, which is great. Always try to optimize your videos for Google search too, because Google right now showing many videos on the searches. And if you type in Google something, you will probably see some videos in the search results. People just like watching videos. And basically all this page is about traffic, where you get your traffic, how many percentage of each traffic source, you have suggested videos, you have YouTube search, you have the keywords, the key phrases that people are searching for and find your video through, your channel through. Suggested videos, you will see the videos that suggested your content. It can be your videos, your own videos, it can be other creators videos. So the next step is engagement. And here you see the engagement of your viewers, how they react with your videos. So the first graph is watch time and average view duration. Average view duration is very, very important. So if you click on that, I have a little increase in my average view duration and my watch hours is going a little bit up, which is also very good. If you scroll down, you will see key moments for audience retention. Now you can really go deep to analyzing each and every video by, by how it keeps your viewer watching. So my best performing video by but what really keeps people watching is how to add subscribe button to your YouTube videos 2021 because I had average percentage viewed, 67% average viewed and average view duration is 3 minutes and 54 seconds considered nice by YouTube so here you also can see the intro which means the first 30 seconds how many people still watching your video after your 30 seconds then you have continuation segments which are very important because that means people are continue watching it's something interesting is going there something is keeping their attention for longer you see here this is my continuation segment and so we also have spikes and dips spikes that means something drove the, their attention and here you have one spike that means people just skip from here to here and here they watched so you can go there you can click on play and watch what happened exactly in these seconds that make the viewer skip to that point you also have dips and those are the things you should avoid which means you can look here, what happened here? I have total drop. Well, my video ended, so it's not a big deal here, but basically if you have something here in the middle of your video drop, let's say this video. In this video, I have a little drop here. Go to this place, you can play a clip from here and watch what happened there. Maybe you said something, maybe you did something. Try to avoid those things in your next videos. Then when you scroll a little bit more down, you will see your top videos, your top posts, your top playlist and screens, your top cards. You also see your end screen element types, endless, endless analytics. Let's go to audience. And here also you have two lines. And lately YouTube really paying attention to your subscribers. Are they watching your videos? Are they engaged? I think YouTube trying to improve the experience for your view, for the viewers. They want your viewers to be loyal to you, to love your channel and basically have a good experience. Here also you can check by returning viewers, unique viewers and your subscribers. Returning viewers is the first one, which brings me to think that YouTube really pay attention to your returning viewers. And that means it's really important to make uh, relevant content that your viewers will probably want to watch. When you scroll down, you will see something very, very helpful. Not everybody will see that. If you're a small channel, it will take a while until YouTube will gather all the data and show this to you. This is the times that YouTube wants you to publish. Publishing at the right times is very important because YouTube algorithm will promote your video based on how it started, based on how it performed in the first few hours. If I publish video here, it will take many hours until my, my subscribers, my viewers will be active on YouTube and actually watch my video. And in those hours, YouTube will think that my video is probably not so interesting because nobody watch it. 
and that is not true they just not there my subscribers are not there so look at the bright 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 colored hours and try to publish just a little bit before this time on the right side i don't have the metrics but this is also very helpful if you have it use it youtube will show you other channels my audience watches this is very helpful because you can go to those channels and just look what they publishing what they're um, everything they publishing lately you can go to comments and see maybe pe they missed something maybe people asking some questions if you see some question that you can make a video about or, or improve your video about or write a post use it this is your chance because this audience is your audience watching their channel so this is your audience or people that similar to your audience also youtube will show you other videos your audience watch if you have these metrics that will be great to go to those videos and learn learn from them you also see here top geographies and mine is united states as i said uh, i also have india philippines united kingdom and israel thank you guys for watching my videos so here on the left is something that um, powered by tubebuddy my best times to publish you also will see here on the right top subtitles what language your viewers watch your videos with on the left side you will see subscriber bell notification you also will see your watch time from subscribers age and gender of your subscribers this is also very important because then you know how to target the right audience if you have 100 percent females you can even make videos that just talking to women you also see the ages and this is important because you know where your audience hanging out so let's continue with comments basically it's self-explanatory you have all the comments you can sort them you can add tags that i haven't responded or responded you can reply from here like it dislike it give it a heart on the right side you'll see what video got this comment and you can also go to this video from here if you click on these three dots you have more options so this is the comments you also have mentions and nobody mentioned me the next in our menu it's subtitles so it's self-explanatory you just see all drafts and published and if you click on this arrow from here you can duplicate and edit and i have video about how to add your subtitles or edit them you can watch this video here then we'll go to the copyright tab and this is just showing you if you have some copyright strikes and claims fortunately i don't have any so nothing to see yet then next one is monetization so this is my monetized channel so you can see how it looks here you will see overview so you can learn more about monetization how you can make money if you scroll down you will see monetization options you have different ways to earn money from youtube you can put video advertising you can use memberships and supers that means it's super chat when you do lives i think so as you can see here that i already monetized my adsense account is active and associated what what date is associated you have agreements and you can leave youtube partner program from here so this is not where you see your analytics from, from monetization. Now let me go back to analytics just to show you how monetized channel will see their the money earning. So in this you, analytics, you will see another tab, your estimated revenue. And also you will see here revenue tab. Click on that. And here you will see your estimated revenue, RPM, which means revenue per thousand views. You also see playback best CPM and you'll see this chart. If you scroll down, you will see your months. You can see this channel just recently been monetized. You will see your top earning videos and how much they earned. You also will see revenue sources from YouTube premium or ad revenue, ad type, skippable, unskippable, display, bumper, and transaction revenue you also can change the dates here of course and go to each section to see more if you haven't monetized yet you will see this 
this you will see this little screen which says that you have to meet those three requirements to apply to youtube partner program and i met two of those but the third one i'm still struggling with my watch hours and this is where you can help guys share my videos i will be so grateful for that and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up this will help me a lot with youtube algorithm now let's go to very important menu customization here is where you customize your channel this may look intimidating but don't worry it's very simple and it's very important for you to customize your channel for your own needs and for your audience so in layout you will see your two videos one is the trailer for people who haven't subscribed to your channel new viewers that come into your channel they will see this video then you will see featured video for returning subscribers people who already subscribe to you and come back they will see this video if you haven't uploaded those video here you will see an option to upload those if you already have videos you can change them by clicking on those three dots and click on change video or remove video now we scroll a little bit down you will see featured sections this is the structure of your channel so my viewers for first will see short videos then we'll see popular uploads then we'll see they will see playlist and my featured channels and only then they will see all my uploads you can add section you can reorganize section by grabbing those two lines and dragging it up and down you also can remove section by clicking on those little dots and remove section so this was under the layout tab let's click on the branding and here's the place when you upload your profile picture and your banner image banner image is your channel banner and it makes just more professional to see banner on the top of your screen on the top of your channel i have many videos explaining how to create your banner for free how to upload it how to change it watch the videos they will help you to brand your channel now if you're going down you will see your video watermark this watermark will appear on your video as long as you choose you can do it only in the end of the video you can custom start time or you can just click on entire video you can change or remove it and also you can upload new one if you haven't i have a video also talking about watermark how to upload it how to create it you can upload here everything you want it can be your logo it can be your subscribe button it can be whatever that you want people who will click on that can subscribe to your channel so that's very important don't skip it make it happen next tab is basic info channel name and description make sure to fill your description you want to include some keywords in here but make it user friendly make it something that talk to your viewer uh, you can add language here and here is your channel url and also your custom url if you passed 100 subscribers you'll get custom url and the only thing good about custom url is that it's just shorter and more eye friendly so then you have links and those links will appear on your channel on your channel banner and on your channel screen and it's very important to include everything you have if you have facebook group if you have website if you have some kind of freebie and have a special link here people who click on that link they will see a little pop-up to subscribe to my channel and it really increase your subscribers so make sure i have a video about that too make sure to watch it you can choose how many links you show on your banner also you can add here contact info and i like to have my professional email here um, a little tip don't put your personal email here because of the um, security reasons always separate your business from your private life this is just my opinion so basically that's it let's go next audio library here you will find free copyright music for your videos if you haven't subscribed to to some program or software or website to get your music from I strongly suggest to go to audio library and find your music here if you hover over the license you will see that you're free to use this audio track in any of your videos including videos that you monetize no attribution is required a little tip here make sure before you download the video that this is the type of the license because some types you have to credit the author 
So here you see no attribution is required, but some of them you will see that require attribution. So make sure you actually checked the uh, guidelines. So you can find free music, you can find sound effects, and if you start some music, make it favorite, you will see it under the start tab. You also can filter the music by different categories. Track title, genre, mood, artist name, duration, attribution not required or attribution required. So let's go to the next one is live subscriber count. So here you will see live subscriber count. Um, mine isn't re moving so fast, so it's not really um, useful for me. But if your subscribers are growing like crazy, like mushrooms after the rain, you will be happy to see it here. So those extras are powered by VDIQ. So if you get the Chrome extension of VDIQ and TubeBuddy, you will see those VDIQ more um, extensions here. So let's go to the settings, the next one, the settings. This is also very important and here you will have to customize your channel even more. You have general, which includes only one thing, your currency. Then you go to channel, under your country, you will see keywords. Make sure to fill here your keywords that can lead somebody to your channel. Then click on the advanced settings tab. Here is important to choose if your channel is made for kids or not. Also here you will see your Google ads, if you connected it or not. So here you also can check, don't show potentially inappropriate words. You to do auto captions on your videos. It transcribes your speech. So sometimes YouTube can make mistakes and then you'll see inappropriate words appearing on your video. That's why it's important to go after you publish video and check the captions. Make sure YouTube didn't do any mistakes. But if you want to be sure and be safe, you can check this box and YouTube won't show inappropriate words anyway. Then you have your subscriber count. You can display or not display the number of people subscribed to your channel. My opinion, it looks a little bit shady not to display the number of subscribers. So I think it's better to display. Then you have disable interest-based ads. I don't touch it. So if you change something, don't forget to click on save. Let's go to upload defaults. Upload defaults are very important. That saves you so much time. You can't upload the title because each video is going to be different, but you can upload the description. There are many things in your description that probably will be the same. For me, it's my freebie, it's my subscribe and other videos, join my free Facebook group and my email, my business email, and also some products that I promote in each and every video. So this will save you so much time. Make sure to include your description here. I always like to publish my videos private and schedule them for later. Then I can work on them a little bit before they become public. You also can add some tags that will appear in each video. I don't do that because each video is different and the tags are also changing. Then go to advanced settings. Here you can allow automatic chapters when available and eligible. YouTube will add automatic chapters to your video. So I would recommend to add chapters to each and every video you can do it by yourself i have a video about that how to do that if you don't have time for that you can allow automatic chapters and youtube can do it for you it won't do it on each video so don't expect them to do it on every video and what's good about automatic chapters is that it can promote you by the name of the chapter if the name of the chapter is some kind of keyword phrase it can promote you so people who look in google for example can find your chapter from your video and then they will be prompt to watch your video also you'll see here your license category uh, your language uh, of captions and more so let's go to permissions here is where you can change owner add another manager to your account give other people a permission to access your channel uh, then you can go to community and here you'll find some moderators if you want to add um, approve user hidden users and stuff like this you can block links and do other things and the last one is agreements and you can learn more here that was settings and the last one is send feedback to youtube so that was youtube 
Creator Studio tutorial. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me anything in the comment section. And please give this video a big thumbs up. If you like this kind of content, subscribe to my channel for more. I see you in my next video. Bye bye creator.